Hi, this is Mandy White. Welcome to socialmediacoachingcafe.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, activate, and use the Google Analytics dashboard plugin. Now, before we begin this video, I need to have you already set up a Google Analytics account, and you need to have already installed Google Analytics onto your WordPress website. So, if you haven't done either of those two things, stop this video and go find out um, either on my YouTube channel or inside the Social Media Coaching Cafe how to go th do those two other items. But, if you have done, if you have Google an an Google Analytics account and you have already installed the opt-in, the analytics code onto your website, then we're good to start with this process. So what we'll be doing first is we're going to go over to plugins on the left hand side and we're going to click on the add new. Now notice you can click on add new from the left hand bar or from the top. Either one is just fine. Now we're going to type in Google Analytics Dashboard and I'll provide a hard link for you inside this post for where that is if you can't find it and you need to hard install it but for now it normally nine times out of ten shows up to be the first one that you need to have you know you're in the right place if it says Google Analytics dashboard and then it has this plugin was made by Carson McDonald that's the right one we're looking for so we're now gonna click on the install now button and you're gonna get a little pop-up box here that asks if you want to actually install this plugin and we're gonna say yes and now rule of thumb with plugins you always install a plugin and then you must activate and then most times you need to configure three steps to plugins and so second step here is we're going to click the activate plugin button and we get a little message up at the top that says plugin activated. Now the third step is that we need to configure this plugin to make it actually work because it does need some other information. It's not psychic. It doesn't know if you have multiple websites which Google Analytics code that we're referring to. So on the left hand side under settings we will click and then we'll scroll down until we see the Google Analytics dashboard tab and we'll open that tab up and now it's going to say log in using Google's OA system and we'll say yes go ahead and start logging in now my default is that I always am logged into my primary Gmail Google account and so all I need to do is hit grant access but if you are not if you're on somebody else's computer if you're doing this for a client then you're gonna to wanna to sign in as a different user the user you'll sign in for this is how are you accessing your Google Analytics account it is that username and email that you wanna enter in so for this case we're fine and now it's going to allow you to select which available account that you're gonna use now for instance um, Google Analytics the total account lets you host like 25 different websites and in my case I kinda have them all <laughs> I am using them all so I need to drop down the box and select the social media coaching cafe which is the site that we're on now scroll to the bottom there are no other options here that you need to check and you need to worry about uh, so we're gonna hit save changes and you'll get a confirmation that the options have been changed and we'll move over to the dashboard so selecting dashboard from the upper left and then you get the dashboard. Now, when it installs these modules onto the dashboard, they usually add them to the very bottom. And if I scroll down, it, it is true that that's the case. So I'm going to hover over the grayed out area on that dashboard widget until I get a hand icon. And when I do, I can just drag, click on the mouse and drag it up, and it will kind of move the screen up with me and it'll just kinda let me drop this widget there at the very top because I want it to be uh, there for me to see when I the next time I log in so there it is there now another really cool 
use of this is that um, I don't have this is a new site here that I'm rebuilding here so we're gonna click under pages I do believe I have some pages yes I do I have some pages that I created previously and what the analytics dashboard plugin does for you is for every page that's published it adds another column here to your website to your dashboard so that you can see okay this coming soon page has had 28 visits 20 exits and 21 uniques and so that allows it just to kind of be shown up there for you really easy as you edit the pages so that's a pretty cool option there for you too all right and it does that for both pages and posts so that's it for the quick tutorial here right now. Please leave your comments underneath uh, here on YouTube or on the Social Media Coaching Cafe blog and let me know what you think about this video. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.